Good afternoon, everybody, and praise be to God on this glorious Sunday. I am Colorful Artie, and we're going back to Donkey Kong Country Free. Today, we're going to finish up K-Free, starting with the last factory level, Crack Shot Croc. This is an interesting level. And it's all about Squitter. Hope you like Squitter. Or at least I hope you're good with him. So the gimmick of this level, we're about to see in, well... It's an interesting gimmick, and it's kind of an, an annoying one, as we're about to see. Come on. Yep, starting right here. See that little sniper scope? It'll lock onto you, and... An evil Kremlin is trying to snipe us all on this level. So you can't stay in one place for a long time. I guess it's an okay gimmick. It's just a little bit annoying. You can also hide behind these barriers and he will not be able to hurt you. And that is the exact same laugh that the cloaks have in Donkey Kong Country 2. Hope you know how to do the jumping. <laughs> I hope you know how to make a platform instantly while jumping and landing on it, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time getting that one. Make a couple webs up here. And it's not too bad. There we go. Squitter is so happy, and he's got a ton of shoes. And, okay. Yeah, after you enter the Animal Buddies uh, barrel, you can actually jump afterwards, which is kind of interesting. Thankfully, this is the only level where uh, you have to deal with the crack shot. Whoa, hi. Ouch. Well, might as well just run across the lava. Yeah, if you're skilled with Squitter, this level really isn't all that hard. Or, you know, hide behind the occasional barrier. Alright, nothing over there. Oh, in your face. You can hold a direction while... Uh, the web's going up, or like, if you're holding a direction while... Press R, or right before you press R. Like, see, I'm holding down, press R, and then the web will start going in a downward uh, arcing pattern. So that's good to get. That's good for getting more control over Squitter's uh, platform webs. Yeah, I don't think I actually went over Squitter's controls because he was a, just a repeat from Donkey Kong Country 2. Basically, you shoot B, and he'll shoot offensive webs that can kill enemies. If you press R, he'll shoot. A platform web like that, and if you push R again, then it'll turn into a platform he can go on. Yeah, you're not getting this spider. Whoa, hi! Yeah, that laughter really gets on my nerves after a while. At least the music's nice. Whew. Gotcha. Yeah, but if you want to go up like a vertical shaft really quickly, jump, create a web at just the right time, and you can very easily just scale like that. Oh boy. Hi. It takes a little good practice, but once you can get it down, it's very easy.
Although, admittedly, it's much harder to do in the Super Nintendo version. Alright, this is a really cool bonus barrel. It's definitely worth getting. Because guess what? We get to control the crack shot now. Really cool idea. And it is a lot of fun to get your revenge. Thankfully, it also gives you plenty of time to get your revenge. Although there's quite a bit of lag on the gun, so you need to time that accordingly. There we go. And now you have to shoot the bonus coin. Woo! That's a really cool bonus game. They literally programmed in a whole sniping section just for that one bonus barrel. It's awesome. Oh, pie. Not today. I believe this is also the last level that deals with the fireballs from Fireball Frenzy. I knew the G was going to be somewhere around there. Hi. Okay, this is going to be tricky to get through with only one calm. I'm going to make a... Okay, or Squitter will just walk right into the lava pit. That works. I can't remember what sound effect they use in the Super Nintendo version for the guy's laugh. Because this laugh is definitely a GBA exclusive, like, soundbite laugh. Ouch. Jumping and shooting with the B button is a, a great way to get rid of those coins. Not today. Keep in mind the fireballs that he shoots kind of have like 3D trajectory. So even though I made physical contact with the fireball, the 3D uh, trajectory was in a different place, and so I survived. Darn it, those guys always throw me off. Alright, so I'm gonna make a web down there. Okay, that was too far down. It's a little hard to find the collision detection on those lava pits. That was dumb. It's the last factory level, so I've got to appreciate the music for as long as I can. There we go. That's another cool trick you can do, where you can literally land right on top of the platform without even needing to do anything. It's all about pushing the R button just in time, okay. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. Whoop, there we go. And that guy's not allowed to go uh, snipe us behind that sign. That's nice. We get a nice steel keg for our troubles. And there we go. We get the coin! Do 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 bloom bong! Sweet. Up here, Blizzard's base camp. And if we go even further, Glacial Grotto.
darn it. I forgot the pattern at the very end. These are getting long. There we go. Yeah, the pattern's different every time, so... It's just all about that memorization. Now let's go to Boyzard's base camp. My word! How on earth did you find me up here? Well, never mind about that. My name's Blizzard! I've been up here for weeks getting ready for my attempt to conquer K3. It looks like I'm going to miss my best friend Blue's birthday. Say, could you do me a favor, Collins? No problem! I love that. That's great! Could you take this present to him for me, please? I'd be ever so grateful. Ooh. Yay, it looks like Blue's getting a present for his birthday. That's very nice. Alright, time for the next level, Lem Gwyn Lunge. This is the last snow level in the game. So right at the start, Team Fro to get a bonus barrel. So here's the gimmick of the uh, level, Lem Gwyns. Infinitely spawning penguins meet lemmings. They basically slide on the snow and just kamikaze off a cliff. You can roll into them and you can jump on their heads. But they've got pretty big uh, hitboxes, so be, be wary of that. Okay, never mind. You cannot roll into their face. Because their beaks are apparently pointy. That explains why I lost last time. Also, I'm not sure why the snow mountain is purple in the background, but I will not complain. So the best way to get for this is to actually bounce on their heads. Woohoo! Yeah, they jump out of those ice holes and then just slide until they... Well, fall off a cliff. Hey, skittas! And some of them, well, like, that spawns... They, uh, they spawn way farther apart, which is nice. Also, this level's pretty easy if memory serves. Like, Crack Shot Croc is much harder. There we go. Easy enough. That's weird. I thought I landed on the first Lemon's head. Guess not. For once, Artie's playing a game with lemmings that is not a puzzle game. Even though these guys are definitely more penguin than lemming. Oh, that, that was great! <laughs> also, that's the first time I think I've fallen off a cliff in the game. As Dixie Calm, at least. Out of our way. This is the start of the Calm Dynasty, so everyone out of our way. There we go. Wow, the N is easy to find. <laughs> Lemguin's going to the right often can be used as platforms to get out of the way goodies. I think that's how we're going to get the last bonus barrel. Never mind. What you want to do is go over the house and then roll backwards. Because you can't roll into their beaks, you have to go backwards into that one. Pretty easy. Or you can just tank the hit. Oh, I like the nice transition to sunset. That's a very nice touch. Okay, that part of the level's hard. But it doesn't last long. Sweet. Alright, that's the last level in K3. You can go to Swanky's Dash if you want, and otherwise it's time for the boss. 
Bleak in Bleak's house, and this is one of the most interesting bosses in the game. It's a first-person shooter. So what you want to do is hit his uh, bow tie, that glowing spot on his bow tie. You can press A to launch a snowball, and he's throwing... It's basically a giant snowball fight, which is pretty cool. Ouch. Okay, yes. So I'm... This is a completely, like, drastic change in gameplay here. It makes more sense in the Super NES version because Swanky's dash in that is like Swanky Sideshow, where you throw baseballs at stuff, and it's the exact same style of game. So it makes more sense for that, but in this, it just comes completely out of left field. It's still an interesting boss. You press A to throw snowballs, and you basically just have to aim properly while dodging his snowballs. You're really good. This fight's super easy. Yeah, but Kitty Colin has a very weird aim where he throws. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Now he means business. He's just shooting giant snowballs out of his top hat like a cannon. <laughs> I don't know how this is damaging him. I'm like hitting his scarf. He's like, ah, that hurts. This is such a crazy boss fight, but I love it. Oh, He's like, eh, eh, I just beat up a little girl. You should be very proud of yourself, Bleak. I like Dixie Kong for this battle much better than Kitty Kong, because Dixie Kong throws exactly where you'd expect her to, whereas Kitty Kong throws it much farther to the right than you'd expect. So it's difficult to pinpoint exactly where his snowball's gonna be. That must be powered by snow or something. Alright, the hitboxes on those are giant. Oh, I hit him! There we go. Great, Kitty Cone's a bigger target now, and has a worse aim, so... Let's see how this goes. Alright. I forgot about this guy. <laughs> or, I mean, I forgot about like all the specifics of this guy. Okay, I did not hit him there. <laughs> like, I did not touch the glowing part on his scarf, but counted anyways, so hey, that's cool. I must say, I do like the, this boss fight where it's like, hey, let's have a giant snowball fight against a snowman. I actually think that's a pretty cool idea. It's just, I feel like it could have been executed a little bit better. Oh, for real? Also, running does nothing in this. Or at least not in this boss battle. Okay, once you get this, once you start the snow cannon, Bleak, you'd think he would just keep doing it, but nope. He eventually is like, eh, let's return to just throwing regular snowballs, even though they're way easier to dodge. And we kill him by throwing snowballs at a snowman. You'd think that would just make him stronger, but nope. Very good, Dixie! You sure gave him a frosty reception! Hehehe. <laughs> You're doing really well, but so don't stop now! Off you go! Thanks, Cranky. And that's K3! Alright, so we got a present for Blue, so we better give that to him. We don't want him to miss his birthday. He seems depressed enough as is. A present? For me? Oh, thank you, Dixie. You've really made my day. Let's have a look inside. Oh, it's a bowling ball. Well, it's far too heavy for me. 
I know, why don't you have it, Dixie? Best of luck in your quest, Dixie. What a guy! He doesn't even like bowling balls, and yet he's so grateful to us that he gives us the bowling ball. That's awesome. You go, Blue. We can all take a lesson from his generosity. Well, now we're going back to Mechanos, because we can go to Brigadier Bazooka Bear. We have ammo now. What have you got there, Dixie? A heavy ball? Well, you never know, it might just work. Shall we load up Big Bessie and see if she'll fire? Lock and load, sir. Okay, let's give it a go. Ready? Aim! And he shoots us instead. And we get flown to the Sky High Secret. Another banana bird. We got 13. I think there are 20 in all. Alright. We, we made some good progress today. We finished up K3 and got a couple secrets. I think that's a great place to stop. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. I think we'll be tackling the last funky challenge. And who knows? Maybe we'll even start uh, Razor Ridge. Actually, we'll definitely be starting Razor Ridge, but... Well, we'll probably do the funky one first. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.